Have you ever heard a really good idea and you said, oh, I want to try that, but I will never be allowed to? I have nine ideas for you, nine, um, that I do myself. I am crazy, but I'm not so special. You can do it too. Believe me and try it. And we start with emails. This is my inbox. Well, actually, it used to be my inbox. 15 minutes ago, someone sent me an email, so there is a freaking email in there but it used to be my inbox with zero emails. The problem I have with emails is checking your emails in the morning is the best way to time travel to lunch. And I hate that. So avoid the freaking email game. There's not so many things you can do with emails. Delete them, archive them, delegate them, and only then maybe you can do something about them, and only then you can maybe defer them. But don't fuss, don't discuss, move your feet. And then we go to meetings. This is actually my calendar. Um, the red ones are the ones I'm going to really go to. All the other ones, don't care. Uh, let me ask you this question. What if you didn't go to your next meeting? I bet you nothing would happen. So whenever you get an invitation, push back. I don't want to go. Should I really go there? And anyway, there's no agenda, so what should I do there? And are the people invited really necessary? And if you do go there, make it a crusade to make the meeting efficient. Really. And then, listen to podcasts. On the top are the podcasts I listen to, um, I follow, and on the bottom, the uh, audiobooks I listen to in the last 12, 18 months. Um, whenever I'm moving, so traveling, whenever I'm doing chores or something like that, I listen to something. My feet and, and hands are busy, but my head is free. And this is great. Just doing so, I can crunch something like 10 hours of free content in my head every week, just traveling from A to B. And I'm, I, tell, I told you I'm crazy. So I, I'm, I'm listening to 1.5 or 175 uh, speed, so I can crunch even more of that in my head. This is freaking great. But remember, at some point, put your headphones down. <laughs> Like in, in front of the TV, you're just passive. You're just absorbing stuff. At some point, put that down and think a little bit. Create a pet chart in your head or something like that. And you do what you do next. You do it like ninjas. You know what ninjas do? They practice. You know that what athletes do? They practice. You know what we don't do as developers? Practice. Oh, no, that's not true. We practice on the job. And if we look at our code base, or the code base of our uh, clients, it looks like we've been practicing. <laughs> um, that's not good. So whenever you come in the morning, sit down at your desk and practice. Do katas, do something, train yourself. And on Fridays, gather some colleagues, some trusty colleagues, and create a dojo, and practice, and do some stuff. Learn, practice your skill, grow as a developer. You can do that by mobbing, uh, mob programming. Um, it's, really, it's really the best tool you can have. Give it a try. Um, I know what you're thinking. How can that be efficient to have a whole team in front of a computer? Well, I ask you the question, how can it be efficient to separate people who should be working together? So this is, well, it might be my team, mobbing. They are explaining things. They are not waiting on anyone to solve a problem. All of them are in the same room. They are working together. They are exchanging knowledge. They are driving quality up. They are doing real work. And this you should try as well. And then do it like anyway. I don't mean drinking the Achilles. I mean write like him. He had a style writing with very short ideas, not sentences, but very short ideas. And with a low lexical richness, simpler words. Try that. And then paste your text in this app, HemingwayApp.com. Um, this is the Pechacha, by the way. And it will tell you what um, you did right or what you did wrong. You did wrong. The blue things are um, the adverbs. Avoid them. The um, pink things are, I don't remember what it is. And the yellow things, it's, it's too complex. Just simplify that. It will up your game. And you know what you do next? You start smoking. No? Okay. I really considered that with the uh, um, vaping stuff, trying something without nicotine. You know why? Because those guys 
are networking experts. And I want to learn that. Because showing genuine interest in people is all that matters. All that matters. Someday, you will look back, and you will not see the projects, or successful or not successful, whatever. Um, you will see people. So start getting interested in people. Start asking questions. Like this guy. This is a perfect movie scene. There's two strangers sitting at a bar, sipping whiskey, um, exchanging about life. Does it have to be with strangers? Does it have to be with whiskey? <laughs> and does it have to be a one-time thing? I don't think so. Um, you need to get people in your life. Superheroes have mentors and sidekicks. Athletes have coaches. Who do we have? Actually, no one. Start searching for your number nine. This is an inside joke. Find a number, find your mentor. Those have been nine ideas, just nine ideas. Avoid the email game, disrupt the meeting culture, learn with podcasts, don't forget to think, practice your skills, try mobbing, keep it short like Hemingway, try altruism, and then find a mentor. Nine ideas, I cannot do them with my hands, but nine ideas that I do myself every day. I told you I'm crazy, um, but you can do too. Like the little green guy said, do or do not. There's no try. So just do, just freaking do. I'm Tim, au revoir.